Now we can look at the ginseng. So these are American ginseng dying down. They turn a rather unique shade of uh, gold as they die down. That's one of the times of year when you can hunt for ginseng with some hope of finding it. The other, of course, is when the fruit is on there, the bright red berries. So let's see what this one looks like. see lots more of the crinkle root here starting to make a carpet there's one or two last berries of ginseng this is a nice fairly mature specimen. Big leaves. So ginseng is an expensive herb for a number of reasons. The price is going to go up to $800 a pound this year, and that's the amount that the person who goes in the woods and collects it can get for it. Then it gets resold and resold and resold. God only knows what it costs by the time it gets to China. Ginseng is endangered and with a price like $800 a pound it's going to be uh, a lot more than endangered. It's going to kind of disappear. One reason it's expensive is it's very slow growing. People say that it uh, doesn't reach its full medicinal potency until it's at least seven years old. It doesn't like transplanting very much, so it resents disturbance. The seeds take two years to germinate. So if I plant these seeds, they won't come up next spring, they'll come up the spring after. They need to go through a winter, then a summer, then another winter. That's another reason why it's expensive. And then we looked at the, both the crinkle root and the golden seal, and I said you could cut them into pieces and you'd get new plants. That's not true of ginseng. So there's the bud for next year. What is true is that, and this is called the neck of the plant. Right. Okay, so you see all these little grooves. Every one of those represents one year of growth. So here's the bud. That's how much it got bigger this year. That was last year. Two years ago, the leaf came off right there. Last year the leaf came off right there. This year the leaf came off right here. Next year, so every time it's going up a little bit, you can actually count how old the plant is by counting these little rings. And this one actually started way back here. It grew, whatever, eight or nine years, and then it put out this little root, kept on growing. This is probably 15, 16 years old. So if you get to the point where you have the bud and you have some roots, 
what I could do is sever this right here and replant that neck with those roots and it'll make a new plant uh, and then I could harvest this much of it or I could sever it right here and replant it with this included usually they have to be five or six years old before you can do this because they, they won't a younger plant will not have any roots up here it'll just have the main root and the neck and the stem so I like to harvest plants that are 10 or 15 years old and then I can replant the neck and not kill the plant but I can't multiply it I'm just gonna still have one plant right I can't chop it into a bunch of pieces I couldn't plant this if I just planted that nothing would happen it doesn't have any bud on it right? unfortunately this is illegal uh, in order to market if you want to market ginseng you have to leave the neck on so that the buyer can count how old it is the way the government is trying to protect ginseng is to say that you can only market ginseng that's I forget what three years old or four or five and the only way you can verify that is by the neck so unfortunately the best way to preserve the ginseng is not uh, legal if you are trying to grow this and market it on the other hand if you want to grow ginseng and eat it yourself or make value-added products or whatever then it doesn't matter which is what I do uh, so I could harvest this and replant that which I suppose now that I dug it up I should do that yeah I'll we'll just do that as I say it kind of resents disturbance I could replant this whole thing and I didn't really break any roots and it might survive all right but it wouldn't be very happy so what we're gonna do is just cut it right there and we'll cut it again right here and we will replant just tuck it right down in there and it can be pretty deep if that bud was six inches deep it wouldn't be any problem it would come right up Oops. Mm -hmm. ah. Don't want to lose those. Then <coughs> we can take these fruits and replant those. Each fruit will have either one or two seeds, and the amount of fruits that it makes depends on how strong the plant is. We'll make a, a ball like that but it'll only set young plants will just set one or two fruits as they get older the head of fruits will get bigger and bigger what I like to do with them is eat them and then plant the seeds They've actually found some compounds in the fruit that are not in any other part of the plant that are being investigated for diabetes and obesity and things like that. A wonderful plant. Everyone should grow it.